They were the most popular couple ever, and they're now involved in a mediatic war with lawyers, songs, tweets, and a jar of jam that started the whole thing. PK and Shakira may not be together anymore, but they were one of the most iconic football couples for more than 12 years, and there are so many questions surrounding them. How did a superstar singer and an FC Barcelona player meet? How did Shakira help PK in his rise as a footballer? And what are the real, I mean the real reasons behind their breakup? So guys, strap yourselves in. This is the rise and fall of Shakira and PK. South Africa gave us Nelson Mandela, one of the best national rugby teams, and the first chapter of the love story between Shakira and Gerard Pique. But this will not be the typical video with the facts that you already know. No, no, no. Today, I'm ready to surprise you guys. So let's bring the first myth down. Their first encounter was not on the set of Shakira's iconic World Cup song, Waka Waka. More than 3 billion views on YouTube. Man, I hope our video gets to this figure. But to come back to the topic, their first meeting was not in South Africa, contrary to what so many people say. As the singer would then reveal, they met for the first time in Madrid, and it was by accident. Pique was about to travel to South Africa, while the Colombian singer was also preparing for the Rock in Rio Music Festival, before also flying to the World Cup host nation. After that first encounter, the former defender took a leap and texted Shakira. By the way guys, what do you think his opening line was? Something like, hey they're beautiful, or perhaps a silly joke? It certainly wasn't, hi I'm Gerard, nice to e-meet you. It all started when we were together in South Africa and I wrote to her. She was already there because she sang in the opening ceremony and I asked her what the weather was like. It is the typical stupid question. Who'd guess that the fearless defender would turn into this shy, lovesick man? Be that as it may, PK's strategy somehow worked because they kept talking. It's sort of funny though to imagine two world-renowned people texting each other like two nervous teenagers. I guess they're human after all. Anyway, they talked and talked until PK made a crazy promise. Shakira was singing before the final, so it was a great opportunity for PK to see her again. And here is what he said to her. I'll reach the World Cup final just to see you again. How sweet. It's hard to believe things went south after such a fairy tale beginning. And I'm sure now Shakira wishes Spain were eliminated by Germany in the 2010 semi-final. But PK's biggest dream came true in South Africa. He reached the final with the Spanish national team and he met with Shakira again. Things couldn't have gone better for the couple who would secretly continue their back and forth texting. It wasn't until May 2011 when they finally confirmed their relationship. It was now official. Tired of hiding, PK joined the singer on stage at a concert in Spain. By that point, the paparazzi were already aware of the love story between these two, but none of them would confirm the rumors. It was Shakira who put an end to the rumors when she tweeted this photo with PK and the phrase, I present to you my son. And just like that, PK and Shakira stopped being the marvelous defender and the talented singer to become one of the world's cutest couples ever. Fun fact, did you know that they were actually born on the same day, February 2nd? Also fun fact, I'm born on the same day too. I kid, that one is not true. Their love tale's cute little details grew their popularity immensely. I mean, remember PK's goal celebration? PK lifted two fingers with each hand, 0202, 2nd of February. How cute is that? Oh, this guy was all about making his sweetheart aware of his unconditional love. Beautiful stuff. They had to cope with some unfair social judgment as she's 10 years older than him. And yeah, yeah, I know. PK also made fun of her for being older later, but hold on, we're still at their honeymoon stages. Everything was in place for them back then, and Shakira had a clear key role in PK's improvement as a footballer. Whether you like his style or not, it's undeniable. The Catalan is one of the best central defenders of the last decade, and his best version came right after he met the Colombian. Though his performances on the pitch were often criticized, this was a result of his overwhelming success at club and national level. I mean, think about it. Since meeting Shakira, he won the World Cup, the Champions League, and the Euros, all in just two years. He also made it to the UEFA Team of the Year three times in a row, in 2010, 2011, and 2012. And he couldn't have done it without Shakira's support. As PK would admit sometime afterwards, she sacrificed it all and moved to Spain for him. One of the two had to make that effort and that sacrifice, and I did it. 
I put my career in second gear and I came to Spain to support him, and it was a sacrifice of love. Shakira and Pique were a strong couple, and the Colombian singer was always on Gerard's side, especially in the most difficult moments, like the time he almost left Barcelona due to his problems with Pep Guardiola. That's right folks, Shakira revealed that Pique was really close to leaving the club because of his complicated relationship with the coach. Gerard had a relationship with Barca that was somewhat complicated. With Guardiola, he had a super tense relationship, one where it was, you go or I go. It was a situation that made him suffer a lot. Pique even recognized it himself. I started going out with Shakira and my relationship with Guardiola changed. There was a lot of pressure on me from then on. I felt like I had to do everything perfectly in training. Actually, but believe it or not, Shakira was not the real reason why PK and Guardiola had the tense relationship. It is because of him, the special one. He drove Guardiola crazy. There was a lot of tension, and not just with me, with all of the locker room. I think that Jose Mourinho wore us out. Pep demanded maximum control over everything. The defender even thought about returning to Manchester United, but Shakira intervened. She persuaded PK to stay at the club and not to give up. Piquet gave his very best and stayed at Barcelona, became a better version of himself, and kept winning more and more trophies, with the best Barcelona side of all time. Shakira's passionate companionship was unquestionable. Sometimes she was even a little bit too much of a fangirl. For instance, she became the unexpected star in the 2011 Copa del Rey final, when she laughed after Cristiano Ronaldo missed a chance. Man, Cristiano just had to be involved, even if he didn't want to feature in this video. Sorry, Ronaldo. Cameras caught the Colombian laughing out loud while the Portuguese lost an attempt. She was having the time of her life, until CR7 took revenge. With a spectacular header, Ronaldo gave Real Madrid the lead and took the title from FC Barca and Pique's hands. Now that story about Shakira has never been confirmed, though it's very popular on the internet. But look at her laugh. I'm sorry Shakira, but if this story is true, karma did sort of hit you well this time. But to get back to our lovebirds, the bound that linked them together was about to get stronger. The first 12 months since their relationship disclosure went by, and the couple soon announced Shakira was pregnant. I could have another nine months like this, wrote Shakira in her pregnancy announcement Instagram post. She'd really like to spend 18 consecutive months pregnant? Really? We'll let our lady viewers decide if Shakira was lying or not. Anyways, the couple's first son, Milan, was born in late January 2013. They named him after the Italian team, which PK really admires. I'm just playing, that's not true. But the kid's name does spell the same as the Rossoneri, just saying. Anyway, PK spoke to the press minutes after becoming a father and couldn't stop smiling, even in front of the media that he admitted to hate. Bien, estaba muy, muy bien, la madre también está muy bien y estamos muy felices. ¿Y tú? ¿Cómo estás? Bueno, pues muy contento y, y bueno, a disfrutarlo, ahora a disfrutarlo y a pasar pues momentos con él. Es verdad que ya lo hicieron socio de Barcelona. Sí, 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 mi abuelo, mi abuelo lo Acabo hizo. The couple were ecstatic. They were happily living together and their kid brought even more love to the world's favorite love story. But suddenly, the media started to notice some cracks in the alleged perfectly built relationship. Because yes, even the most beautiful stories are sometimes bound to end. Before we really jump into the darkness of Shakira and PK's relationship, I'll ask you just one tiny thing. Please subscribe to our channel so you can watch more videos of this kind. I promise you won't be disappointed. So, now, let's get back to our lovely couple. Used to making the headlines, Shakira suddenly became the object of unexpected criticism as she revealed that she didn't want to get married. So did Gerard get on one knee and get rejected? Not at all. As a matter of fact, the Colombian just hated the concept of marriage. We have a union, a love for each other, and a baby. I think that those aspects of our relationship are already established, and marriage is not going to change them. Oh boy, Shakira must have grinded some old-fashioned people's gears with her testimony. But the media and fan suspicion quickly faded away as the couple announced they were expecting again the arrival of their second son, Sasha. The defender would also reveal years later the incredible phone call he had with Real Madrid's legend Ike Garcias after Sasha's birth. The goalkeeper and his wife sent Shakira and Pique flowers, so Gerard called Ike to thank him. And the phone call was something like this. Hello. Hey Ike, it's me, Gerard. I wanted to thank you for the flowers. Hey man, congratulations on your kid's birth. Thanks pal. Oh, and I hope Atletico scores four times against you tomorrow. 
Ah, Gerard, you are such a nice friend. Madrid were playing the derby against Atletico the next day, and guess what? Casillas' team did concede four goals, just as PK hoped. It was all laughter and happiness for the Catalan, who was involved in so many clashes and banter with Real Madrid players. But in his personal relationship, laughter was unfortunately becoming more and more rare. A few months after Sasha was born, the defender was awarded at the 2016 Catalan Awards Ceremony. And there, the couple witnessed the couple's second red flag. Just look at them. Man, that was awkward as can be. The social media world was particularly insistent on the way that PK showed almost no interest in greeting his wife after receiving the award. But we'll let you guys be the judge yourselves. Shakira tried to hug her husband and grab his hand, but the Catalan preferred to instead speak directly to former FC Barca president Josep Bartomeu. Cold Gerard, just cold. But hey, it takes two people to build a relationship, so we won't pick sides here. Things were clearly not ideal, but still, what couples don't have to cope with some tormentous moments? Overwhelmed by the Herculean task of parenting, Shakira publicly exposed her dislikes with her routine as a mum. Her unconditional love for her son was out of the question, but she explained that she went from being the center of her life to a satellite of her children. The artist even admitted that after she became a mum, she thought about retiring from the music business. Her new full-time job as a mother just didn't seem to be fitting with her professional career. And she revealed that it was PK who talked her out of retiring from music. But still, her parenting duties just clashed with her personal projects and ambitions, which eventually brought her some unhappiness. Understandable as that may be, her testimony clashed with PK's traditional personality. As Shakira stated, the Catalan is a very old fashioned man. Gerard won't let me make videos with men. He's a very conservative person. He would impress you because he is very young and we already know how the new generations are. But the truth is, is that he is, he is very conservative. Hmm, a difference in political values. This would constitute the third red flag, don't you think? But the family bond was still strong, and both PK and Shakira avoided further polemics regarding their life as a couple, although the tension was palpable. Even though they wouldn't trash talk each other publicly, things were about to collapse. As we said, the shakira PK relationship was more and more rocky. PK was involved in multiple media scandals, particularly when the Catalan grabbed a television camera angry about being filmed without permission. A week before Christmas in 2016, PK showed his anger towards a journalist and he instantly went viral. Used to having paparazzi wherever they go, the couple was suddenly not going to accept that anymore. Something was clearly going wrong. To add more fuel, Shakira once again stated that the husband and wife concept was the opposite of what she wanted. To tell you the truth, marriage scares the shit out of me. I don't want to see him as the wife. I'd rather him see me as his girlfriend. Their relationship had reached a decade, but the Colombian was not eager to discuss the possibility of wearing a wedding ring. To a traditional guy like PK, as Shakira described him, this must have been really tough. Instantaneously, media reports indicated that her incendiary anti-marriage interview was a clear message to an alleged insistent Gerard. They stopped appearing together in public, they stopped sharing cute, adorable posts, and they even stopped talking about each other with the media. After months in silence, trying to keep themselves away from the headlines, Shakira publicly revealed in 2022 her disappointment about PK. The Colombian featured on the TV show This Morning in which the host praised her song Te Felicito and its concept of a woman who creates the idea of a perfect man in her head. Shakira's answer was, well, a taste of what would come later. I guess it happens to all of us women. You think you're in a real relationship and it's not as real as it seems. Ouch. That one was a dagger. Again, not picking sides, but just picture it. You are in a 12 year relationship and your partner goes and says that to the world. We talked about red flags earlier. This red flag is really, really, really red guys. 
Anyway, the interview, as cold as it was, it wasn't enough proof for anyone to anticipate what would happen two weeks later. Because two weeks later, the couple announced their breakup. We regret to inform that we are separating. For the well-being of our children, who are our top priority, we ask for respect to our privacy. Thank you for understanding. The world was speechless, and at Oh My Goal, we were too. I mean, Shakira, PK, Messi, Antonella, Georgina, Cristiano. It's the football couples that we thought would never break up. No one could believe that the fairy tale had ended. How on earth could the couple that had us all in love with them suddenly break up? To the surprise of absolutely nobody, social media was filmed with unproved rumors to explain the separation. Susie Cortez, AKA Miss Bum Bum, assured that PK had made a move on her, while his relationship was still ongoing. PK asked for my number and sent me a message. He sent it straight to my Instagram, which was deleted every day, asking me when I would return to Europe and was always asking about how big my butt was. I have never said any of this out of respect for Shakira, but now I'm going to tell you everything I know and what happened to me. The Brazilian playboy added that PK sent her nude photos and that he should behave more like Lionel Messi and Philippe Coutinho, who according to Miss Bum Bum, have the utmost respect for their wives. Knowing how much of a tormentous relationship Leo and Gerard now have, it's safe to say that PK must have hated that interview. But the worst rumor was yet to come. The Catalan was also accused of being involved with one of his FC Barcelona's teammates' mother. According to the theory, Pique had made a move on Gavi's mum during the team's Copa del Rey title celebrations in 2021. Pique involved with another woman, who is also the mother of a teammate, and during the team's parade, it was just too much. Besides, the journalist that leaked the information used a photo to point at the woman, and he pointed to Gavi's sister instead of his mother. That's how bizarre the rumor got. These malicious theories were never confirmed and quickly discredited, but the damage was already done. Piquet was, from there on, known as the cheater in the breakup. Meanwhile, this super graffiti love message appeared outside Shakira's house. It was all confusion, and Shakira's latest hit was examined to the detail, and it became more and more obvious that the song was secretly talking about her now former boyfriend. By completing you, I broke into pieces. They warned me, but I didn't listen. I realized that yours is false. It was the straw that broke the camel's back. I congratulate you how well you act. Your role continues. That show suits you well. The Colombians started wondering if she should stay in Barcelona or if she should take their sons and return to South America. Shakira had left her residence in the United States and her birth country, Colombia, to accompany PK in his ongoing career as a Barcelona player. Heartbroken, the singer wanted to leave instantly, but was not going to leave her kids behind. It was an absolutely chaotic situation, and soon enough we'd learn that the truth was even worse than previously imagined. Unsurprisingly, it didn't take Gerard Piquet too long to find future romantic interest. Shortly after the breakup, the defender started a new relationship with Clara Ciamarti. Too soon, we're not here to judge that. But as the Catalan tried to find comfort with his new girlfriend, the fans and paparazzi started to put the pieces of the puzzle together. Remember Shakira's song we mentioned before? In the video, the singer opens the refrigerator? And during an interview, she explains that the scene was meant to find the truth. But what did that have to do with her split up with PK? The thing is that Shakira allegedly discovered Gerard cheating due to a jar of jam. Yes, the rumor indicated that PK didn't like strawberry jam. So when the Colombian opened the fridge and saw that her jar was almost empty, she knew that someone else had to eat it. Have you ever heard of a sillier way of being caught? Shakira was traveling, promoting her music while the former FC Barcelona defender was allegedly cheating on her. Shakira would later admit it was the darkest hour of her life, while Piquet's popularity dropped to its lowest point. The media assured that the Catalan had made some jokes about feeling young again after breaking up with a woman who's a decade older than him, but started dating a 23 year old. So what about the third wheel in this story? Asked about the rumors in late 2022, Clara Ciamarti denied being involved with the F. I would like to clarify that I don't know Gerard Piquet at all. They have awarded me the role taking advantage of the fact that I do not have social networks. I don't know him, so I ask that you please leave me alone. People are peppering me for things I haven't done. But her testimony would soon be discredited by Gerard Piquet and simply 
by fax. Unfortunately, the former couple just couldn't even share the room, so both parties got lawyers involved. After some months of negotiations, Shakira and PK would reach an agreement regarding their kids' custody. But the lawyers didn't specify if the agreement also had financial obligations for the parties involved. The couple had reached a money empire of over $430 million. Yes, you heard it well. Let's have a closer look at how big they were financially, because I am sure you are all wondering who is the richest between the beauty and the beast. I mean, defensive beast, of course. The Colombian had earned most of this fortune thanks to her albums, tours, and the incredible $12 million salary she got after being a judge on The Voice. Perhaps that was also bugging PK, whose fortune was estimated in around $80 million, which I won't lie, is already pretty huge, and the amount would keep growing thanks to his business involvement. What? You didn't know that PK is now a businessman? Man, you guys need to keep up with Oh My Goals videos about him. Anyways, the former footballer is the president of Cosmos, the company that reinvented the Tennis Davis Cup, for which he was widely criticized. But PK has also created his own esports team called KOI, and he is now the owner of FC Andorra, a football team that currently plays in Spain's second division. But that's not all. PK is also involved in the real estate market, as well as sunglasses, isotonic drinks, and burgers. So money wouldn't be a big issue in court for the former couple who just wanted to get a fair deal regarding Milan and Sasha's future. It looked like the war was over and that some peace would finally put an end to this story. But none of them had that plan in mind. Shakira released a new song in which she clearly meant to hurt PK by saying that he changed a Rolex for a Casio and a Ferrari for a Twingo. And how did her former boyfriend retaliate? Well. We'll let you judge him by yourselves. 10 days later, on the 25th of January, 2023, Gerard posted a photo on his Instagram announcement alongside his new girlfriend. So let's back that up a little bit. In November, 2022, Clara Ciamarti denied not only having a relationship, but even having met Gerard Piquet. And two months later, they are already so established as a couple that Piquet publicly announces their relationship. I'm sorry to tell you, Clara, that your testimony was clearly false. At least she doesn't have the public social media accounts, so she avoided the haters' many messages criticizing her actions. And meanwhile, Shakira released a new hit song called Monotony. You know what it was about and who it was dedicated to. Oh, and we almost forgot it. As part of their agreement with Spotify, it was said that Barcelona would feature Shakira's song on their shirts while PK was still playing for them. Perhaps that's why PK had yet another outburst during an interview. This time, PK chose to criticize a subcontinent. The Catalan explained that lots of Latin American people suddenly hated him because his former girlfriend was born there, but he assured that he didn't care about their opinion. Shakira seized the opportunity to add more fuel to this and tweeted the phrase, proud to be Latin American. Soon enough, the Colombian would acknowledge that her time in Europe was over. As if they were part of a reality show, Piquet and Shakira continued to add more controversy to their lives. The Catalan was spotted in Paris alongside Cristiano Ronaldo's former girlfriend, Arena Sheik. Maybe that's why CR7's current partner, Georgina Rodriguez, posted an Instagram video listening to one of Shakira's newest songs. Sorry, Cristiano, but we just had to add every single controversy surrounding this soap opera-like story. Meanwhile, the situation couldn't be more awkward. The media was all over the place, harassing even the former couple's friend and Barcelona legend, Patrick Clivert. Have you spoken with her? Have you asked her over the phone? No, no, no. Mi mujer tiene contacto con ella. ¿Y a Gerard Piqué le vas a felicitar? ¿Por qué no? ¿Por qué? Hola. Ah, no, no lo sé, te lo pregunto. Hola, Rosana. ¿Le vas a felicitar entonces también? Abierta. A lo mejor, sí. Ah, ¿Eres amigo de los dos o...? Sí, sí, sí. sí, sí, sí. No es solamente uno, es los dos. The Dutchman was in Barcelona appearing at Shakira's birthday. A birthday party that had a... Uh, hmm... Let's just say... It was a special cake. A few weeks after this, Shakira publicly announced that she was leaving Barcelona for good and that she was taking Milan and Sasha with her. The Colombian and the kids moved to Miami and during Piquet's first visit to his sons in their new home, a new rumor would arise. It was reportedly said that the Catalan had an argument with Shakira's brother and road manager Tonino and that they got into a fist fight that lasted until the police separated them. Both sides instantly denied this 
And in fairness to them, it does seem to be truthful. Gerard and Shakira may have had their problems, but physical violence has never been brought to the table. In any case, they clarified that Piquet and his former brother-in-law did see each other when they visited Milan and Sasha, but no more than that. Were they covering their steps? Was it just a truce so the kids wouldn't find out about the family issues? By the way, did you know that Piquet's children will actually go to the same school as Lionel Messi's kids? And needless to say, that Leo and Gerard's relationship didn't end well. So that's yet another bad piece of news for the former defender. Oh, and I almost forgot. It took her a little bit longer than her former boyfriend, but Shakira is reportedly dating again. Yes, the Colombian has finally moved on after the traumatic experience with the Catalan and was seen several times alongside Formula One legend Lewis Hamilton. Are they officially in a relationship? That's the question nowadays. They haven't confirmed this, but you know paparazzi won't wait again as they did when she started dating PK. Also, American websites indicate that Hamilton wasn't Shakira's only option. The singer could have also dated Hollywood star Tom Cruise. Man, does she ever date a regular low profile guy? Anyways, Cruz was present at the Formula One Miami Grand Prix in May with Shakira and he reportedly sent her flowers shortly after meeting. This love triangle could put an end to the 10 year bromance between Hamilton and the Top Gun legendary actor. But we won't dive into that story, we've got enough with Shakira and Piquet. Last but not least, the singer took yet another swipe at her former boyfriend in the preview of her newest song, Empty Cup. And I mean, just check out these just check out the lyrics here. You are always busy with so much business. It would be nice, my love, a little leisure. Relax here on the sofa and give me your attention. The phone rings. Use your hands with me, I know you're hot, but I'm much hotter. Interesting. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to tell that she's not referring to Lewis Hamilton or Tom Cruise here. It seems to imply that beyond all of the reasons we already gave, there was another one behind their breakup. PK simply neglected Shakira and gave much more energy to his numerous business ventures. You know, the new Davis Cup, the esports team, the sunglasses, the real estate, all of this takes time and apparently it gave none to Shakira at the end of the day. By this point, we love to say that this was the last chapter of the story, but Shakira and PK have an ongoing cold war and unfortunately, we don't think the last word has been said. They were once the cutest couple ever. The world was in love with the fairy tale of Shakira and Piquet. But love is a full-time job and the story soon turned into a nightmare. Do you think they'll ever reach at least a respectful relationship? Who knows? Anyways, super happy to have shared with you another story around the dramatic world of football. Make sure to watch the video of Mourinho vs the world if you haven't already watched it, and I'll see you guys real soon for a new video. Also, let us know in the comments below what hidden football stories you want us to uncover next. Have a wonderful day, and long live football.